Hello and welcome to That's the Point, where we talk mostly, well, only about construction technology. That's My name point. is Jonathan, here with Corey. Corey, how are you doing? Good, man. Excited to be here and talk about some more technology stuff. Very good. So today we're going to dig a little deeper into some questions and items that our support desk commonly gets. And that's the surrounding idea of diagnostics. Yeah, exactly. And typically when something isn't going right, or if a piece of hardware is acting maybe wonky, as a word for it, uh, the support desk will likely need to get a little more information. So there's several different ways you can do that. And we're going to cover both the main platforms now, which is, which is the RTS and the total stations, the RIs. And then we also have the scanners. And so we'll start with the scanner um, and specifically the X-series scanners because this one's really easy because we actually have a diagnostic report that you can run right from FieldLink that gives you a ton of information. Um, so what we'll do is we'll quickly run through that. And again, this goes for the X7 and the X9. Yep, absolutely. So within FieldLink, we can quickly and easily generate a PDF report that runs through the basic features and health of your scanner. And it's, it's nice because if you've got an X7 connected, which we do right here, it's right behind Jonathan, um, we can easily generate this handy report. So either for the support folks, or if you just have a big scan job starting later that day, you want to make sure that everything is hunky-dory uh, with your scanner before the project, we can actually do that. So let's jump into the scanner or jump into the tablet and look at the scanner and get that diagnostic report run. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to open up FieldLink. Like I said, we've already connected. We've already done the process of connecting to the scanner. We can see it up in the bar. Um, that is, it is connected to a X7. Um, and so then from there, then we're just going to pull down that same menu. We're going to go to settings. And down in the bottom right-hand corner, we actually see the icon for diagnostic. And we are just going to tap that, and it's going to go through the diagnostic test. And this will take a couple moments, Corey? It might take a couple minutes. Okay. All right, so through the magic of editing now, we're done. We have the, the diagnostic report. Um, as you can see on the screen, like we can scroll through it. It's a PDF. We can choose where we want to save that file to, and we can click Save. Um, this one that we just ran now, this X7 is perfectly good, um, good and healthy. So obviously we would expect all these things to be green and okay, which they are. But this is just a lot of information, both for the support desk, or like we said, if you're using it before you come out and you do a project, um, this can give you that warm fuzzy. When things fail, like I'm looking at a, a report that we have here um, that actually did, the system did fail. It's a, it's a scanner that is needing a little bit of help. Um, it, was, it might have been dropped. Um, and so, yeah, we could see the errors start popping up. And so we know right away that the scanner is not ready for prime time. So mm -hmm. it's a, kind of a good idea to, uh, to keep this in your repertoire, but it's also good to know when support asks you for that diagnostic report. Yeah, absolutely. So let's say you're using a layout tool and um, experiencing some weird uh, behavior in FieldLink, or heaven forbid, maybe it even crashes. What would you do in that case? Yeah, so that's, uh, that's never ideal. FieldLink does offer the capability to create an automatic crash report every time it crashes. It's really only the only log files that we can easily get out of FieldLink, um, but they can be very helpful to the, uh, to the support desk. So what we're going to do is we actually can show you right now the process of how you get that crash report, how you find it. Um, and so we can actually do that through FieldLink, so just in a, in a regular new project. Um, and I'm going to click More, um, and we're going to go to Projects, and then Import. And we actually have a bad data file right here in the top. Um, appropriately named, I'm going to crash. <laughs> so if you guys want to copy that, just, just feel free to reach out to the, the help desk, and I'm sure they would be happy to give that over to you. Um, so you can just crash it so much. Um, it's really a lot of fun. So we'll select that, and we're going to say OK and Import. All right, so we did crash it. There we go. That was mm -hmm. easy. Um, and then we see that the flag pops up with the dialog saying that, uh oh, it looks like something went wrong. Down at the bottom, it does have the file location, right, which is, which is listed there. But if we just tap on the open folder icon, we can go, and it brings us right to that folder okay. um, that we can then take it, we can open it up, save it, um, send it over to, to the, uh, the support team or whatever we have, and there you go. There's your crash report. Whether it's diagnostic reports, log files, or even crash reports, FieldLink helps to provide a wealth of data that can help you and your support team diagnose and quickly remedy many common issues. Yep. You may not like to use these features, but they are very handy when they're available. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers we post here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.